Hello everyone, this is Mundan Nagam. Today we are going to see post method in Python flash tutorial. Continuing with previous code base, we are going to discuss furthermore how to use the post method. As usual, the first line statement will be from flask, we are importing the flask in order to create the flask application JSON file. In order to return the JSON to the browser, we are making as a JSON file after the caller. And we are adding one more thing request because in case of post method, we are requesting something to update inside the server. So inside the request service, right? So for that case, we need to have the request as well. Again, as usual, the same thing, we are creating the app by using the flask class and we have the existing product list with the name and watch it is the dictionary it is a list of dictionaries you can consider then home page it is a, like a root symbol then we will return the just a html content then after we have seen get methods here in this case now we are going to create a post method so post method you cannot use the browser because we are not going to send the our data through the url path we are going to send as a json so for that reason we need to have some tools such as like postman already have installed the postman so you can use the postman here in the postman itself you can use the http url for example in last video we have seen the get method for all products you can just run this before that we need to make sure the service is up and running so it's up and running again i will restart so it's up and running so now i can go to here all products will return all the things it is get method you can select from the get method Send it and you can see currently we have watch, pen, clock and speaker and comparing with our list watch, pen, clock and speaker is there already fine. So now we are going to understand the post method. In this we are going to add one more let's say path slash add product then we are mentioning the method as post. So that means that this is in the post method when user request with let's say URL plus add product by using the post method, this method will be called. So add product. Inside we have request.getJSON. So this request will get whatever the user has sent as a request that will be captured under the request and we are converting into JSON. So that JSON will be saved into the REQ variable. Now we are going to add the products. We know that products is the list of dictionaries which has the name and its product. So now we are appending and the name is name as usual because we are mentioning the same thing for the simplicity and the product will be from the request JSON we are getting the value which has the key as name so that we will be taking and we will be assigned to the this dictionary and this dictionary will be appended to the this list products list simple as it is then after we are returning the JSON file products so that means that we are returning entire products as a JSON. So simple as it is, so we will start and rerun. Already it's running, so no need to rerun again. Now we are going to here and post method. In case of post method, we need to do some more activities in the tool itself. For example, we will be changing from get to post and we will be adding the same URL path, get, sorry, add product with the root URL. Then after in the headers, we need to add content type as the application slash JSON because whatever the input we are going to post to the rest service that will be the type of json so that's the reason we are changing the content type application slash json then in body part we are going to send as a json so in json you know the difference between the json and the dictionary so in json we are giving the key and value pairs both are in the double quotes because the value is a string then i am sending this one so click on this send and it will return the overall products again so we will see the results whether our necklace has been added or not. So you can see the platinum necklace has been added. For example, if you want to see the same here, all products, you can just run it before adding. We were having just watch, pen, clock and speaker. Now we are sending again, get method. Now you can see the new product has been added as successful. So this is about the add product. So some of the things we need to notice here is we have added one more let's say model that is request with the using the request we can get the get json method so that means that whatever the request we are making through the rest service by using the post method that will be taken into the request variable so with that we are just converting into the json and we are adding to the request variable here then after we are adding that request with the help of key name then we are adding as a new dictionary into the products list after adding successfully, we are just returning the products in the form of JSON by using the JSON file. 
as it is simple as it is so this is about the post method so thanks all thanks for watching and have a great day